Radio head, Bones, one of my favourite tracks. I mean, one of my favourite tracks of all time, of any artist. Um, but yeah, how are you? Bit of technical trouble starting. Wouldn't work, wouldn't let me go live. I thought, why not? Check the Wi-Fi over there, it won't let me go live. What the, why? What the fuck has it got to do with my phone, whether I go live or not. That's my question. There's nothing to fucking do with my phone. So I'm in charge of my phone. Yeah? So why doesn't it let me do what I fucking want? Oh, why does nothing work? Bought some spray chalk the other day to for the garden, for the badminton. We had like like random things like a feather and a knife and a tape measure doing the, didn't fucking work. One spray and then it's, oh God, honestly, I want to, I want to find the fact where, who, who, who was on this day? Me, you fucking idiot. Concentrate. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so, been a good day. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rick, you look pretty slick today but thanks very much um i've just had a bath yeah yeah but it's not that rick you always look clean and tidy go on what is it well it's it's your is your lovely jumper oh this this old thing this old thing that i've been wearing for a month because there was dry cleaners was shut that i popped in the bath with me today yeah so popped it in the bath put it on the towel rack it was dry by four o'clock so there you go. Adapt. Evolve. Yeah? Let's just get on with it. Uh, what else? So, yeah, I played some badminton. I did a, a, a Canadian radio show via Zoom. You do the math. Uh, wrote a bit of Afterlife 3. Just one scene a day. I think that's an afternoon's filming, isn't it? So I look at that like a, a day's work. Uh, oh, yesterday was funny. Um, a few things were trending on Twitter from after like three, uh, which was, I think, Harold Shipman and Michael Parkin Bum. So, thanks for that. Uh, yeah, the uh, a little uh, viral, a, a, a bit of uh, Ratty and the Nonce um, saying his nicknames went a bit mental. Uh, <laughs> so funny to see that trending. <laughs> oh, God. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching the uh, the bloopers, as they say. Never like that word, bloopers. Outtakes, say outtakes. No, it's bloopers. I'm not gonna say bloopers. Hi, and welcome to 
Britain's Funniest Bloopers with me, Ricky Gervais. Not saying bloopers. Told you. Not saying bloopers. Not saying Snickers. I'm not saying fucking toilet duck. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? So, yeah, I've had, a, I've had a lovely day. Badminton, little bit of work, lovely long walk, worked out, two baths, one of which was used to also wash this little bad boy. Uh, Canadian radio interview. That's about it, really. That's it. I'm making it sound like a day's work, but in that was a, some games of chess, um, a snooze, had a little nap, one hour, one hour power nap. I mean, I know a power nap is meant to be 20 minutes, but I have an hour power nap. That's how powerful I am. Thought I'd caught coronavirus, because uh, felt a little bit fluey. Jane went, oh, it's probably pollen. Oh, yeah, well, I've taken a Pyroton, so, uh, Jane, you're not a doctor. I know when I've got coronavirus. When have I been wrong before? <laughs> um, and I felt a bit uh, a little throat thing. She said, yeah, the tree pollen getting in the throat. Yeah. I said, I've got a temperature. She went, you haven't. I went, okay. I took her little Beecham's. I also thought um, it, it felt like a regular cold. But if I haven't been near anyone because of coronavirus, how could I catch a cold? How, how, how have I caught a fucking cold if I haven't been near any other human being or touching anything because of coronavirus? Is that possible? Can I just have a cold? Where would that come from? Where's the cold come from? Fuck's sake. Oh, could it be an allergic reaction to something that feels like, no, who cares? I don't give a fuck anymore. Ah. <sighs> Oh, Quimmy Savile, that was the other one, wasn't it? Yeah, Quimmy Savile. Um, what does that mean to people around the world? Quimmy Savile. They won't know. Have I heard of Jimmy Savile? Did he? I don't think he... I don't, <laughs> I don't think he was big outside Britain. Oh, God. Fuck you now. Michael Parkinbum as well. What does that sound? That just that sounds inane, doesn't it? But any Americans? Well, do you know what? Why? Why Quimmy Savile and Michael Parkinbum is funny? No. Um, and I don't blame you. Because we should know better. Because we're grown adults laughing at silly names. Allergia. Allergia. What's that? Is that? Is that like a? Could it be allergy? Yeah. Okay. Tired, yeah, it's that, I've got that thing that like the, the tired eyes and a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit tickly throat. <laughs> Basically, is there a doctor, right? Is there a doctor online? Be, be honest. Uh, I, yeah, but why is hay fever sometimes cutting through? I take a Pyroton every day, even through the winter in case. Because it's, sometimes it's stronger, is it? Um, hmm, probably. Uh... What else has happened? Nothing. Uh, if there are any doctors watching this, imagine if a doctor's watching this. Shouldn't you be doing something important? <laughs> Brian is underrated, yeah. Love Brian Gittins. Afterlife is the best, thank you. You're not drinking enough. Uh, it's creeping up again. I, I, I think for I think for the first couple of weeks of lockdown, I. I drank a little bit less than usual, but now it's crept back up again. You think, oh, fuck it. What, what, what does it matter? Uh, um, Harold Shipman. Uh, yeah, Harold Shipman. Harold Shipman. What does that mean? Right, let me... Okay, for um, Americans anywhere around the world, right, let me, let me tell you about some of our national treasures. Okay, first of all, Michael Parkinbum, right? He was our letterman for years, Michael Parkinson, right? It was called Parkinson. It was the biggest, it was the biggest chat show, I think, ever, probably. Um, still, probably nothing matches it, if you think of how many viewers used to um, tune in every Saturday night 
I mean, probably, I don't know, but probably 20 million, maybe, on a big one. And he had the best guests, you know. He famously had an argument with Muhammad Ali. And, uh, so through the 70s and 80s, Michael Parkinson, uh, and 90s, um, uh, I remember the first time I did it, I just thought, Gee, oh, wow, I've arrived after the office. I got invited on there. And the, I wasn't really nervous about going on there. I was nervous about falling down the staircase. So I bought a pair of shoes that I've still got. It had tread, they had tread, like, like, like a tractor tire. So I couldn't fall down the stairs. So Michael Parkinson, right, our biggest chat show, our David Letterman of many years, Michael Park in bum. Michael Park in bum, right? Sexual innuendo around the name Michael Parkinson, right? That's one. Two, Quimmy Savile, you know, the word Quim, a euphemism for uh, a, a lady garden, um, a female front bottom. Um, Quimmy, right? Quimmy Savile. Now, Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile was, again, one of our most famous people through the, the 70s and 80s and 90s. Um, uh, he was a DJ, a Radio 1 DJ. Uh, and uh, he had his own show, Jim Will Fix It, where he invited kids on to, you know, fulfil their dreams. And um, he was massive. He did a lot for, lot for charity. He'd do, he'd, do, um, he'd do, like, marathons, go, go to his hospital, and he was help the kids. And then when he died, everyone found out why. Um, because he was Britain's most prolific... Um, psychopathic paedophile I mean off the charts the most hated man in Britain after, and, and everyone was frustrated to, and uh, I can't I can't I mean if you st Americans if you haven't heard of it if you saw a picture of him now you would go well of course he was a paedophile how could you not know um, some people did apparently uh, but anyway that's so Michael Parkinbum Quimmy Savile uh, what was the other one? Harold Shipman. Right. So, Harold Shipman, I think, was our most prolific serial killer. And what he did, uh, proud pro old-fashioned gent, little GP, little, um, little beard. He was, he was, you know, late middle age, I think. A uh, uh, little beard, little, little jacket and tie, smart. He used to, he used to do, go in old people's homes and um, murder them. Uh, make me a little cup of tea, a little bit of uh, a lethal dose of anaesthetic, and uh, just let them. So that's just three of our most eminent, famous people in Britain uh, over the past, um, in my lifetime. Um, so I hope that explains something about Britain. At you. Good. Gary Shitter. Someone just go over that. Gary Shitter. Yeah, Gary Glitter. That was actually, um, that was Rhyme's name, wasn't it? A Gar Gary Glitter. Of the Gary Glitter. Uh, Gary Glitter, you may have heard of, because there was controversy that one of his songs was used in the Joker movie. Uh, uh, and he's, he's uh, unlike Harold Shipman and Jimmy Savile, He's still alive. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look, look him up. Look up um, Gary Glitter. Uh, God, this is depressing, isn't it? Fucking hell. Imagine if this was a, <laughs> like, wish you were here, right? Like a travel show for Come to Britain. Just some of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, there you go. Um, how long's that? Well, I've wasted all the time uh, talking about uh, Britain's worst people. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, I um, hope you're well. Uh, thanks for watching the outtakes and joining in and getting those things trending. Um, Thanks for watching Afterlife. I have noticed that some people are watching the first series. Uh, some people are watching it again 
before they watch the second to remind them. But some people are watching it for the first time because they've seen all the stuff about the uh, the second series and uh, they haven't got around to it. I do see this a lot as well, um, which is, I quite like it. I think it's flattering. But I see people on Twitter, they send me things like, I've never been a fan, right? But I love Afterlife. And, and uh, things like, I thought you were awful, um, but I love Afterlife. And things like, uh, I hate Ricky Gervais, but Afterlife is really good. So, um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Stay safe.